In this video, we will be talking about the Linux directory structure, what it is, and how to get around it. The Linux directory structure is a tree. It starts at a root, and in fact, that directory is called the root directory, and then everything branches out from there. Any particular directory, including the root directory, can contain files or other directories. That's going to be very much like you're used to in other operating systems. So let's take a look at something. This is a very small, very selective portion of the Linux directory structure, directories and files in Linux. And so you can see at the top we have a directory. That is a directory name, that slash. That is the name of the root directory. It's called the root directory. We don't ever call it slash, but it is spelled slash. So that's just something to get used to. That directory happens to contain several directories. We have a bin directory that's for binary files. We have an Etsy directory that's usually configuration files, etc. But it's pronounced Etsy. It's spelled ETC, but it's pronounced Etsy. We have a home directory. That's where home directories go. TMP for temp. USR for user. That's things that are not related to the system usually. It's just another directory. You can see there's a bin directory in there. There's a local and a bin. So there's multiple places where binaries can be. And there's a var directory that contains generally volatile type files, log files, temporary files, things like that. So that's just a rough, very selective look at the directory. So I can have things that are in the root directory slash, but I can also have things, for instance, in my documents folder. From the top, there's a home directory, there's a Jeff directory, and there's a documents directory. So that's my documents directory in my home directory. So if I wanted to spell out my home directory, it is slash home slash Jeff slash documents. Now, you notice we didn't separately specify the root directory. Slash is the separator between directories, and it's also the root directory. So we don't separately specify root, we just say slash home slash Jeff slash documents. Now, if the path to a file or directory starts with a slash like this one does, that's called an absolute path. And all that means is the path begins at the root directory. We know that it begins at the root directory because the name specifying it begins with a slash. We can also specify what's called a relative directory. If I were in the home directory and wanted to specify the same thing, my documents directory, I could say, Jeff slash documents. Now, when a path like this begins without a slash, it's called a relative path. And what that means is it is relative to the current directory that we're in. So, how do you know what directory you're in? Well, there's two basic ways. The first is the directory is actually being shown in my prompt. Now, that's not 100% reliable, and we'll talk about why it says tilde in a little bit, but it's showing me the current directory I'm in. The reason I say it's not 100% reliable is because what shows in the prompt is actually configurable. It's actually a configuration item. You can change what the prompt says. The default is usually to include the path in the prompt, but there's no guarantee of that. So what's a guaranteed way of finding out what directory I'm in? There's a command, pwd, for print the working directory, and it says I am in slash home slash Jeff which happens to be my home directory. You will find as you get familiar with Linux commands that a lot of them tend to be kind of short, like really short. You might even think they're a little terse. Sometimes it seems like they're allergic to vowels in Linux commands. It's just a way of shortening everything. It's a custom to be somewhat terse in the command name. And I think the idea is just, if you're gonna be typing these things, don't type any more than you actually need to type. So you will get used to it, even if it seems a little odd initially. So here it shows that I'm in slash home slash Jeff. If I want to go to another directory, the command is cd, and then I give the directory name. So if I want to go up to the home directory, I cd to slash home, and there I am. And now you see my prompt change. My prompt changed to tell me that I'm in slash home. And I can do a pwd, and that shows me that I'm in slash home. Using absolute paths, I can go directly to any place in the entire tree. I can go directly to user local bin if I want to. I can jump straight there. You may notice I didn't say slash user slash local slash bin. I said user local bin. That's just another shorthand that people tend to use. 
people who are familiar with Linux, user local bin happens to be a very famous directory. It's a very commonly used directory. And so user local bin is a lot easier to say than slash user slash local slash bin. Less common directories, you will hear the slashes said. I cannot give you a specific rule about when slashes are pronounced and when they aren't. It's just one of those things that you'll pick up as you hang around people in the Linux community. If I want to go back to my home directory, there are actually several ways I can do that. The first is what we would guess. I can type the full path to my home directory. And there I am. That fact that there's a tilde in the prompt right now, we made mention of it earlier, that's actually a clue. And I'm going to show you what it's a clue to. Let's go back to user local bin, but this time we're going to do it using relative paths. So I'm going to go to the root directory, and then I'm going to go to user. Notice I used a relative path there. A relative path can have multiple components in it. I can cd to local slash bin. And you notice I'm exactly where I got with the absolute path. As long as I'm using a correct relative path, it's going to get me to the same place. It's the same thing. It's just whether I'm starting at the very top or I'm specifying a subset of that path. If I'm in a part of that path, I can still use the absolute path. There's no harm in always using the absolute path to get somewhere. So now I'm here and we've had this little clue. When I was in the home directory, it didn't say my directory was slash home slash Jeff in the prompt. It said it was tilde. So what happens if I type cd tilde? That's the tilde character right next to the one on a US keyboard anyway. And you type it with a shift. There I am. What directory am I in? I'm in slash home slash Jeff. So it turns out that tilde is a shorthand for my home directory. And so tilde will have a different meaning for me than it will for you or your friend or anything else. Every individual tilde has a different meaning because it's relative to the user. It is that user's home directory. So let's go back to user local bin because there's an even shorter way to get to my home directory. So did you notice what I did there? If I give no arguments to the cd command, that means the default is go to your home directory. So that can be pretty handy. If you're off doing something else in another directory, maybe you're working on something in user local bin, for example, and you want to get back to your own home directory, just type cd and you're back. Now there are two more special directory names that we need to talk about here. The first is dot dot, two periods right next to each other. What dot dot means is the directory one level up. Specifically, that directory is called the parent directory. Every directory except the root directory has a parent directory. And that parent directory can always be referred to as dot dot. So if I'm in user local bin, the parent directory is user local. If I'm in slash home slash Jeff, the parent directory is slash home. But dot dot will always take me to whatever that directory is. Dot dot means up one level. The other name we want to call out here is very similar. It's dot. Now, if I do a cd dot, what happens? Dot is a name that always means this directory, the current directory. So what use is that? Well, with the cd command, it's not terribly useful. I would like to go nowhere, please, isn't a very useful command. But sometimes you want to specify a file or you need to specify a file very explicitly. You can specify it's in the current directory by saying dot slash Jeff. This maybe doesn't make much sense in the CD command, but we can do that. We can say start at the current directory, then go to Jeff. And again, PWD, just to prove I have made it home in this little tour of our Linux file system. So just remember, the cd command moves you around. Remember how to spell paths, the difference between an absolute and relative paths, and these three special names, tilde, dot, dot, and dot. And before you know it, you will easily be able to move around in the Linux directory structure.